that was our second year in Cape Hatteras. Yes, Cora Jelpe likes to reminisce with her friends and family about summer vacations at the beach. Their memories she'll always cherish, although she admits there are some things she would have done differently. I wasn't using sunscreen in Cape Hatteras for myself. Now on the kids I would, but not on myself because I don't burn. She may not have gotten sunburn, but Cora did get skin cancer. And now, ironically, the very place that contributed to her disease may someday provide a potent way to fight it. Dr. Gary Stoner of Ohio State University's Medical Center is conducting studies using seaweed. After making a type of sunscreen with an extract from this brown spongy algae, he applied it to mice in the lab and put them under UV lights and was impressed by what he saw. It was uh, probably some of the most active materials that I've ever seen tested on the surface of skin to prevent uh, ultraviolet light induced uh, cancer. In, in mice. But that wasn't the only encouraging result. Stoner also fed the seaweed to the mice in very small amounts and got similar results. Actually it was quite well absorbed and uh, was able to protect against skin cancer as effectively as when applied topically to the skin itself. It's too early to tell if seaweed can protect humans in the same way, but Stoner says it's not a bad idea to make it a part of your diet in dishes like sushi. That's something Cora says she'll consider, given her continuing battle with skin cancer and her affection for the sea. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.